This is Professor Michael Chapman. I'm one of the most experienced IVF doctors in Australia. I believe that an important part that I can contribute is to educate patients in relation to fertility, infertility, and all that that involves. These series of podcasts help to educate you. I hope they are helpful to you. If you wish to know more, however, I'm more than happy to have you contact me via email, which is profmchapman at gmail.com, or make an appointment to see me on 91384222 how do we improve egg quality before ovulation by the time you're getting close to ovulation you can't change egg quality because that process began uh, 90 days ago what happens over those 90 days is important and really the things i said about the man was the same for women smoking uh, alcohol, overweight, all impinge on egg quality. Unfortunately, the biggest factor in relation to egg quality is age, and no one's come up with a way of uh, reversing the age impact on egg quality. Uh, on the internet, you'll find a thousand different suggestions, ranging from acupuncture no proof whatsoever to uh, naturopathy type stuff again no scientific proof to support the medications that have been suggested and certainly some animal studies suggest the support something called coq10 a vitamin probably needs to be taken for up to 90 days before a treatment uh, cycle most most people aren't prepared to wait that long three months to start your IVF cycle but certainly anything over eight weeks is probably worthwhile in mice it's been shown that old mice produce young eggs when they're exposed to a, a, a high concentration of CoQ10 concentrations you really can't reach uh, in a human and the human studies that followed that mouse work have not shown a, a particular benefit the other drug is dhea which is a very mild androgen and it's uh, in randomized studies there are a number of studies now all of them pretty small some have shown some benefit in terms of egg numbers and egg quality uh, others show no change again it probably needs to be taken for at least eight weeks before a, an ivf cycle to actually have an impact on that growing egg or egg. I certainly use recommend those drugs when I get into a situation of of poor fertilization with IVF or very low egg numbers. I think it's worthwhile. They do no harm. Whether they do any good, as I say, the randomized studies haven't been convincing. And they're relatively inexpensive. And don't forget that you can access all the previous episodes by going to our website, www.theivfjourney.com and select IVF Journey Podcast from the navigation menu. <laughs>